watching the, re the replay here. Greg Klamenzer here. Hey, welcome. Hi, Allison. Long time no see. How are you? <clears throat> you can hear... Hey, hey. Nice to see you on uh, Periscope. <laughs> Doing great. Awesome. Awesome. Me too. Hi there. Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome. Tag Tribes, for sure. Definitely in Tag Tribes. I love Mark Shaw, man. The guy is just um, an incredible leader, incredible, incredible visionary. Love following him. <clears throat> hey, welcome, guys, girls. All right. We'll get started here in one second. <clears throat> so, um, woohoo, Tag Tribes. Yeah. Tag Tribes, man, I'm just loving it. I'm feeling the support, feeling the love. It's, it's awesome. I definitely jump on, um, connect with people when I see the tag tribes. Yeah, totally rocks. Totally rocks. Where are you from? Where are you from, Connor? Yeah, let me know where you're from. And um, if you if you also want to put in there what you do, you're from Ireland. All right. And um, also uh, maybe throw in the comments what kind of business you're in. What do you do? Hello from Maryland. Hi, Susan. <laughs> Los Angeles. Hip. All right, Allison, what mic do you see? Do you use? Um, I'm just using my phone right now. I do have a, a plug-in mic. The only thing, um, it's a Technotronic. It's like a $20 mic. Um, I just don't like the cord dragging. I used to um, kind of uh, set up my, my phone. I had a stand. Now I'm holding it. It. Um, I think I was trying to do, just do too much and be polished. I'm just holding my phone now and uh, doing my scopes just by hand. So... Um, I have a hard time uh, getting it onto my uh, onto my tripod. Anyways, customers, customers. Good day, Greg. Hey, Tag Tribes, Australia. Thanks, thanks. Welcome everybody. Cool, cool. Well, appreciate all of you uh, jumping on the call here with me. So uh, I really do marketing. Marketing, awesome, awesome. So marketing is a really, really big uh, uh, subject. So um, I'm always curious what people's niche are with marketing. Web developer, online consultant, coaching, awesome, awesome. Very good, very good. All right. Well, if you're just joining, welcome. Getting ready to kind of jump into the topic here, which is how to avoid entrepreneurial uh, burnout. So um, it sounds like we have, yes, marketing, mainly social and digital. Cool, cool. All right. So um, I also kind of help my clients with marketing. Typically, I do more offline marketing um, and more uh, helping professional service providers uh, build their businesses through um, uh, referral based marketing and or um, uh, other other types of way of marketing. Um, so I was journaling here this morning and um, just kind of getting some thoughts together. And uh, I've been talking about Periscope to some people offline. I, I've coined a term. Hey, Richard, thanks for joining. Hey there. <laughs> um, I coined a term, and I think Periscope is really, um, uh, really fits within this term. And the shift for to avoid a, uh, entrepreneurial burnout is to shift from product and service-based marketing. What's up, Richard? To shift from product and service-based marketing, which means leading with your product and your service. I um, think that the, the direction that we're going with business is people want to do business with people they know, like, and trust, obviously, but how do they do that? Well, they get to peek into your life. So what I mean by peek into your life, um, and I've worked with some of my clients on this, it's called making the shift to lifestyle-based marketing versus product or content-based so what does that mean? What does that mean, um, making the shift to lifestyle-based marketing? Well, it's, it's letting people see the life that you live. So here's the question. Most people, um, personally, I don't want to work with somebody who's a burned-out professional or entrepreneur. They're not vibrant. They're not radiant, whatever it is. So we have to reprioritize and, and, and make a new priority as we evolve um, as a conscious community, as conscious entrepreneurs, and we have to we have to have a new uh, pri prioritization. And you hit it right on the head, uh, uh, Allison. And um, I'm going to talk about three things to make this shift of uh, being a lifestyle based um, 
marketer or a lifestyle-based uh, professional. And number one, Allison, you hit it right on the head, and that is put your passions first. Put your passions first. Um, if you think about it, if I think about it, I want to do business with people that are alive, that, um, that I resonate with. And here's the deal. Here's the deal is that not everybody's going to like what you're passionate about. It doesn't matter. But as long as you're passionate, people are going to feel that passion. Okay? So you've got to put your passions first when you shift to lifestyle-based marketing. Um, you're letting people see, hey, I've got a life worth living. And do you want to play? Do you want to be around me? Do you want to see into what I'm up to and how I do it? And, um, and that's really what I, where Periscope, I think, can be extremely valuable is making that shift into what I call lifestyle-based marketing. So the, the big thing is ask yourself, what are you passionate about? And do you have the courage to stop uh, uh, approaching things from what I call um, a poor, uh, having um, a poor relationship with money mindset? So you've got to kind of let go of being worried about money and thinking like a poor person and put your passions first. So that's the first thing, passions first. Second is you got to put people second. So passions first, people second. So your passions are first. Um, for me, I'm passionate about martial arts, meditation, coaching, learning, personal growth, whatever it is. I'm kind of uh, if you read in my in my bio, I'm a I'm a, a personal development uh, enthusiast and a spiritual junkie. So um, I, I eat everything up. I'm a voracious learner. I even like learning stuff about technology and sharing that. So you got to figure out what lights you up. What lights you up? If you like to surf, you like to ski, you like to hike, and lead your marketing with that. Lead with what you're passionate about, and then uh, talk with people or share with people or invite people along in that conversation. So passion first, people second. People second meaning building the relationship. So you're sharing what you're passionate about. Um, here's my philosophy. What you're passionate about, you'll attract people who resonate with you. You're not going to attract everyone, but you don't need to. You'll have plenty of people who want to be around you and do business. Okay? Me too. Spiritual junkie. Love it. Right on, Susan. So um, uh, passion first, people second, and then what I call profit third. So that's really what I, I would say is necessary to reprioritize so that we don't get stuck in the trap of being entrepreneurs. Um, passions first, people second, and then profits third. Um, the reason people pe put profits first so much is that they're so in fear and they're thinking like what I call poor people. All right. So um, yeah, let's all share to Twitter. Cool. Cool. Yeah. If you're feeling this, um, uh, share this message to Twitter so you can uh, swipe up and uh, share it with your followers. If you're on an Android, just swipe sideways and share it to your followers. If you're uh, following me for the first time, um, uh, please consider uh, following me, and I'll just leave it at that. Did it already. Right on. Thanks, Richard. So, um, yeah, so that's really the big message here. And um, so I think we have to step back away from our business. You know, one of the things that I did this morning is uh, up on my uh, whiteboard here. You can't see it, but um, what it says up there is purpose equals knowing your why. People, oh, thank you, Susan. Thanks for the hearts. <laughs> Coaching people on how to how to how to uh, love send some love here. Um, so one of the things I started off this morning is um, really looking at uh, I, I call it purpose equals knowing your why. So you got to know why you're on um, why you're on Periscope, why you're doing what you're doing, and um, you know when I kind of sat with this this morning, what um, why I do what I do, why I coach is really helping people avoid the trap of entrepreneurship and to live a rich life worth living. That's what I do what I do. And so I languaged it like this this morning is helping people shift to lifestyle-based businesses instead of getting trapped in pushing content and uh, services. So that's really what I live for. And um, if you know anything about my story, I was a uh, burned out commercial real estate guy who had a series of awakenings and decided to leave the trap of, you know, chasing money and following my bliss. And so that's pretty much what I've dedicated my life to for the last 21 years is supporting people in having great lifestyles and, um, 
and having great relationships and uh, being able to keep a roof over their head, so to speak. So um, it totally fits within my model of passions first, people second, profits <clears throat> third. So um, that's kind of my big idea for this morning um, to just be willing to, and here's the thing, here's the challenge. If you're, if you don't have a life that's worth emulating or what I call you're not passionate about, why would anyone follow you? Why would anyone follow you? So go find your passion and then invite and share it with other. Uh, we all do at some time, I believe, love. Got it. Got it. So, yeah, I mean, one of the things I've been challenging my clients with is um, get a life, man. Get a life and share that with people and uh, have a life worth um, getting people's attention, you know, that has a story. Make a life, not a fortune. Great, unless you can do both. Totally, totally. I was at a dinner the other night and talking with um, one of my clients and invited me over a beautiful home over in La Jolla and chatted with some people, physicians, some very, very good people. And, um, you know, a lot of people through, you know, two or three divorces and made a lot of money, uh, lost a lot of money, you know, and um, I was just kind of sharing my story with them. And, you know, yeah, I've, I've done coaching. I've been able to create a life, you know, a, a living um, but the most important thing is I've created a lifestyle for myself and I love my lifestyle. I have an amazing lifestyle and I'm truly, truly grateful. Um, you know, there's people that make a hell of a lot more money than me, but I guarantee they don't have, uh, the lifestyle that I have. So anyways, I just want to inspire everybody. I'm probably pre preaching to the choir, to the people here, um, about, uh, just, uh, putting your lifestyle first. Um, so I want to give you a couple examples of some um, uh, what I shared with some clients. So, so I have a client who's a physician. Uh, he's a dental surgeon. And uh, his referral partners are other dentists or orthodontists that don't do surgery. And he's an avid surfer. He's an avid surfer, but he also owns a boat. He owns a boat. And a lot of the other dentists that he gets referrals also surf. But um, he has a boat, and there's a really uh, cool surf spot off the tip of Point Loma that um, you can only get to by boat. And so what I suggested to him is invite his dentist to meet him, you know, at 5.30, 6.30 in the morning down at the harbor and take his boat out to the point to go surfing. So what a great way to build relationships. Ralph's, you got it, Richard. Yep, surfing Ralph's and dolphin tanks. Yep. So uh, what a great way to connect with. You've got three or four other dentists, you know, on your boat. You're out there surfing, spending time. So that's a lifestyle-based marketing strategy. Um, another uh, one of my clients, he's a mortgage guy, uh, loves golfing. He's probably, you know, on the brink of being semi-professional or professional. He's gotten away from it. You went to Point Loma High? No way. So did I. Richard, I went to Point Loma High, brother. <laughs> Uh, I grew up right, uh, my mother still lives there, right off Chatsworth and Nimitz, so um, right on. Um, so another client, you know, like I said, he's in the mortgage business, and um, he's a semi-professional golfer, and, um, you know, he just hasn't been golfing, and so the same thing is, do what you love, man, go golf, but make sure you're golfing with the right people, make sure you're inviting the right people along, so I call that lifestyle-based marketing. So anyhow, that's the, that's the big idea here is um, follow your passions, uh, put your p passions first, uh, people second, and uh, passions, uh, profits third. I got uh, a little uh, off there with the school reunion, totally, totally. All right, guys, thanks for being on the call. Thanks for the love, um, and uh, I'll try to keep uh, sharing some of the ideas. I get so many ideas and stuff just coming. My mind is uh, um, just filled with... Uh, uh, ideas. So anyways, thanks for being on. Allison, if you're still here, it was great having you on. Um, Vicki, thanks for uh, thanks for being on and being so enthusiastic and participating. You guys are awesome. Have an amazing day. Going to surf now. Let's connect sometime offline. That'd be great, Richard. Yeah, I just surfed uh, South Carlsbad yesterday. I'm living up in North County right now. I live in San Alijo Hills, but um, definitely uh, uh, get down to Point Loma every once in a while. My mom still lives there. All right, you guys, have an awesome day.